Cheers, Drew. Skadoosh. Look at that mug. Is yes. that a Game of Thrones mug? It is. I guess that. I don't know anything about Game of Thrones, but it just ready, looked Drew? like it. Winter's come. Winter, winter is kind of here today, it actually. It is. Yeah. It's, 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 it's soggy outside. Yeah. It is soggy, soggy outside. slush kind of thing going on. I appreciate on, your oh. gusto. Nice that was show. nice. Nice prompt. <laughs> Her arms were up. She was into it. I like it. Couldn't see it on camera. Andy, I still have pieces of Dante's pen, like I was finding that he brought in. Did room. you break his pen? Not his pen, but another pen that he brought. Anyway, that's a little teaser for later on. No, we we may or may not have smashed some pens with hammers. So more on that later. More on that later. Today <laughs> we're going to talk about pen cases, pen storage for you and your fountain pens. So we have. A lot of different options with a lot of varying styles, shapes, sizes, and purposes. I think that would fit uh, your needs. So I just want to kind of do uh, like a little bit of an overview and talk yeah. about the different brands we carry and what's unique about them. Well, we've expanded, you know, quite a bit over the last year, year and a half or so, with pen cases, and um, you know, it was kind of like for a while, really all we had was Aston, yeah, and that was pretty much it. Um, and then we just kind of slowly, we got Knock, we got a couple, you know, and then Visconti and Pineider and some other ones. Um, now we got Frank here, Christoph Girologio, and yeah. it just kind of seems all like over the place. we expanded. So, um, you know, we wanted to kind of cover the breadth of what we have now. So That's right. Yeah. Drew, I'll let you lead the charge on this one. Well, I was thinking we could start with the luxury pen cases, the okay. Italian-made, fancy, real nice leather cases. So that would be your Visconti uh -huh. and your Pineider. Nice. And you've got one that is a pretty rigid, hard kind of... I don't know if that's clamshell, but uh, it's yeah, it's a little clammy. It's, it's, it's rigid leather. It is 100% leather. Yeah, definitely. And they come in colors, which is different than Visconti. Visconti True. is all black. Yes. Nighter comes in a blue, a black, and a very unique green. Green, dark green. That was modeled after tile in so the after Duomo. The, the or marble like in that. the Duomo. Marble. Yeah, yeah there we yeah. go. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Pinider magnetic opening here with um, what would you call these? Not slots, but uh, I would have called them slots. Slots? Okay. We've got slots here for pens. Compartments, maybe? Compartments, sure. Yeah. And the Sconti is pretty similar. There is a zipper closure with an opening that actually allows you a little more access to your pens than the Penider. Um, well, yeah. actually, no, not you're, more you're access. You're exposing like half the pen, probably. Yeah. So, you know, but this... these, these channels go all the way up. Yeah, so these ones, the clips could kind of touch each other. Potentially, oh. yeah. But neither of these are going to have your pens held firmly in place like some elastic uh, pen cases would. So if you want your pens not touching each other for the most part and just kind of laying in there. And also if you're going to be a little bit more uh, gentle, I suppose. Like these pens are good for just being in your office. Yeah, these aren't the ones that you would like throw in your rucksack and no. hike up the No, you don't trail. want, like, and there is going to be a little bit of uh, space in between the top of the case and the top of the pen, so things could jostle it could rattle a little bit, which so it really bothers Drew. That's like a pet peeve of it yours. It doesn't, for me, <laughs> Yeah. That's not how I like, you know, I want them to be held like firmly secure. in place. See, but I, I, I actually carry both of these cases in the bigger format. It's silly regularly. because I don't, you probably move more around with your cases than I do. Oh, yeah. Mine like, stay in my, my office. Backpack so and I'm like it's trekking everywhere. totally a preferential thing and based in no common sense, really. <laughs> but they're fantastic cases. They are a little bit more expensive, but it's Italian made leather. So I think you can uh, kind of understand where that's coming from. Definitely. They have a lot of, thank you, Andy, they have a lot of different uh, sizes. They're more or less smaller and larger versions of what you see here. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see them all on our website. Uh, I yeah. don't have them all memorized, but I believe we have like a, uh, a six to two like a, and a... Yeah, I mean, um, a lot of them, a lot of these cases offer like ones, twos, three, six, twelve. That kind of, seems to be kind of the format that mm -hmm. most offerings are. Honestly, we don't do well with like one and two cases. No. Just the individual, you know, one. Yeah, people, I guess, I guess people who are Gulli Pens fans uh, tend to have more pens <gasps> and like to carry a lot of them around. But it's so easy to just buy one. Shocking to believe that, right? So this is right here. So let's just go ahead and tackle this guy. This is yeah. a newer acquisition for us. And this is by a man called Rick Shaw. That's not true. No. Um, <laughs> Rick, Rick Shaw Bagworks uh, produces these guys, and they are lovely. This is one of our uh, exclusive pen wraps. Mm -hmm. And that's another fun thing that you don't see a lot of here is the wrap style of pen case. Yeah, and this one, of course, no, no animalness to it at all. Um, it's basically polyester. Except so. the wild design. Yeah, yeah. These are made, no. made in a... <laughs> Wow. 
Um, so these are made in America. They're made in San Francisco. Um, so yeah, the soft fuzziness on the inside is. Oh, that's real nice. It's almost naughty how pleasurous it is. All right, see now I don't want to touch it anymore. This is Especially Brian's though, like, so this doesn't. This will not go back on the shelf. My face is not going to be touching your case. When you have like the individual slip or the, the double slip or something like that, and you are wanting to feel the inside, it's yeah. a little wrong. But yeah, it is. It is. They are pleasant. really, really amazing. Like this. I mean, what is this? This just plush wonderfulness yeah like you want your pens to touch this like putting your pens in here you are like taking them to the spa it is like here you you enjoy this it's like wrapping them up in a cozy blanket mm -hmm. curling up by the fire yeah your pens are going to be happy when you're in one of these <laughs> and uh so they roll up nice and tight and you've got this nice elastic enclosure you wrap this guy around yeah take this loop and put it on through and you are Good to go. Nice. We so, got a couple different formats of these. This is the wrap. Uh, we have another one that's like more of an open-ended wrap, and then we have a couple that are smaller slips. Mm -hmm. And there's really no limit to any kind of crazy design. So if you have any thoughts, let us know. Yeah, we are looking into doing more designs in the future. We started out with the ink splatter because that's kind of our deal. It is. It's, yeah. a, it's a super cool case. Check them out. Mm -hmm. um, Brian mentioned Aston as the kind of uh, yeah, this mainstay. Is like, this is like OG for yeah. us. We've had Aston since 20 of. 10, 2011, it's been a long time. And to this day, it's still the only single slip. Uh, single leather slip. Single leather a, slip. We do You're have right. a single slip with our rickshaws now. Right. So single leather slip case that we carry. So if you're looking for just a single pen leather enclosure, Aston's the way to go. Yeah, and I've, on been, our side. I've been carrying one around for eight years You now. have, and that thing is... It's aged. Warrant. It's like... No, because you have my pen, Andy. You're rocking it for the video, so I haven't been. It's like paper thin. It it's you like. Just blame oh. that on me. No, I remember. No, I, didn't blame anything. I remember when I, I first explaining. started. When I first started, and we were back in the garage. He had his Shaper 300. Or yeah. Shaper, Shaper 300 in it, and yeah. even then, it was pretty it was weathered pretty and worn. beat up. Well, now yeah. it's like leather paper. So it's um, a little. Th it's it's, it's uh, you know. It's thinned out. Well, I think the leather they were using was thinner back then too. They're a little, yeah, it they're was a little yeah. chunkier. Now. Yeah, they are a little chunkier. So your pen should fit in here if it's it basically as a reminder any of the cases we're showing you here today if we sell the pen you can pretty much be guaranteed it will fit in anything we've shown you this one can be a little tight on some pens so you might need to you know wear it down a little bit to get it to uh comfortably fit your pen but most everything will go in there um another uh moving away from the slips they also have cases as well and these wait, are wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're bringing out, bringing out the old, look at that thing. <laughs> I had it in my backpack look at instead that of thing. my pocket. My yeah, it's goodness. a little weathered. It's a, little, it's a different color, obviously. And one thing but, that you yeah. will notice, and this goes with Aston as well as other leather brands, leather is different, and it will vary from pen to pen. Absolutely. So if you look at the diameter of uh, thickness, Andy, if you can get some of that, yeah. this is the case that we sold like 10 years ago, and this is the case, well, like the eight years ago. Yeah. Um, and this is the case we're selling Circa now, and they're very different. And this is kind of going to happen. Aston doesn't, it, they're not making leather slip cases for pens as their mm. primary function and role. They make all sorts of stuff. So they're going to have stuff that they make these slips out of that aren't identical all the time. Anyway, moving on, Aston also has zipper cases. They also, they have a nice little flap in here with a pocket you could put cards in. I like to put... A little guide in there. Wait, that, isn't that a blue one? I like to put a little guide in here that tells me which inks I have in which mm. pens. Just a little piece of paper. That's smart. Fold it up and put it in there. Yeah, pretty I should, handy. I should really do that. With even though I have an amazingly flawless memory, <laughs> <laughs> it's still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you jest. You jest. <laughs> <laughs> Guffaw. Brian, how dare you? <laughs> Franklin Kristoff. Big fan of these guys. This is a, a brand where their smaller cases and their larger cases are pretty different in design. Mm. So the smaller cases are a um, slip and fold style with three, well in this case three, they also have two, um, individual little channels for the pens to be in. They're not gripped, but they do have individual slots, so if you wanted to, you could clip your pen into them for them to stay put. And then we have their pen envelope. Which, of course, you got to love the pun. Yes. And this is a magnetic closure. And again, individual channels for each pen that you can clip onto to have things nice and secure. And I, have you ever tested, can you fit anything into this little doodaddles here? I mean, I'm sure you could fit, like, like a field notes, some maybe? papers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I actually haven't really tested it. There's, I don't have a pen blow for myself, personally. 
You I have like one. I have like a bucket of pen yeah, cases. <laughs> so Brian doesn't need any more. I'm really pen cases. good on pen <laughs> cases for now. All right, knock. So knock is another brand made in America. Um, those of you who know the pen addict, Brad, Brad Dowdy, he is one of the founders behind this, along with Jeff Bruckwicky. Two really interesting guys, really nice guys, run the pen show circuit. Really great people, so we're happy to support them. Uh, and they have really interesting colors. They're ballistic nylon, so they're like super durable. Um, you know, no animal products of any kind in theirs as well. So if you like that like kind of vegan option, rickshaw or knock is gonna be the way to go yeah. for you. Uh, and they have some interesting formats. They do. That's know? a very different, it's kind of like a pen roll, but it's an enclosed pen roll. Yeah, it's like a big tongue that's just like bleh. So if tongues are your thing. Bleh. Blah. And there you have it. <laughs> Brian Goulet, ladies and gentlemen. It's even red, too. You picked the one with a red one, you know. This one's got three pen slots as well as an open slot for... For more pens. Your hand. Yeah. I don't think you'd want to do that with pens in there. It might kind of fall out everywhere. No, I mean, they're, they're a little versatile. So, like, this one, <clears throat> what ends up happening, for me anyway, and for a lot of people, they end up putting six pens in here, and then they put, like, seven other pens in the open <laughs> slot, and it's, like, busting at the seam with pens. And they've been designing these for quite a while, and there's a lot of intentionality that goes on behind them. They might look simple, but there are little details added, like um, seams and padding added to where the zipper actually encloses so that your pens aren't just knocking right up against the zipper. They've ha added mm. this nice little... Um, layer of protection. So they yeah. really do try hard to make sure that all things are considered and they really make a great case. Yeah, and they offer other like more custom things. Oh yeah, lots of different stuff. They, so yeah. they're, they're ones who started out as a Kickstarter type of situation um, and then, excuse me, really ran their own thing and then went to a distribution. So they're still more on the kind of upstart yeah. um, even though they've been doing it for a few years. But you can so. find them a lot of different places including yeah. our stuff and they've got a lot more as well, and some um, cases actually do focus more on the notebook side of things as well. Okay. So check them out. Yeah, and then Girologio is our final one. Um, so this is a relatively newer brand that we've been carrying, uh, and these are made in India, and they are more on the affordable side, even though they are leather, um, they're in kind of more the price range of like some of the nylon cases. Um, but they have some interesting um, colors and textures to them. Um, so, you know, these aren't gonna, you know, the insides and stuff feel a little stiffer. They're not as much of a premium feel to them. I wouldn't them call them like the supple, Italian. but... Yeah, but they are definitely a lot of bang for the buck mm, for, for real. pen storage. And the color is really cool. This oxblood color is something that's unique to them, which looks awesome. And then this saddle brown, which came out last year. Oh, uh, this is saddle tan. No, saddle no, sorry. Tan. Um, Yes. Saddle? Saddle tan. It's, uh... Saddle, saddle. Saddle something. <laughs> um... This is Saddle Tan. Yep. Saddle Tan. Saddle Tan. So not Saddle Brown, like I said. Saddle bomber tan. Brown. It was Bomber Brown yes. Saddle Tan. I don't know how I could probably get those mixed up. But it's got a really cool texture that you're not going to find in other pen cases. Most other pen cases are kind of slick. This one's got a nice rugged feel to it yeah. that should weather nicely. And then, of course, one of my favorite cases of all time, Drew, is oh God, here we go. the one for the true hardcore pen. Uh, this is when you just really fall on off the deep end. <laughs> yeah. Girologio. 40, no, sorry, 96 pen case, which is like a briefcase. Yeah, it is exactly that. Pen thing in one. Open it all the way. Oh my in God. All its glory. Oh. So if you really just want to show up at a pen event and just want to <laughs> throw down and you're like, Man. you think you got pens? <laughs> Take that. Drop the mic. And then leave away, and then stay really close by because you don't want anybody stealing your and pens. And for display purposes, yeah, this happens. So you can take these things off. You can just have all your pens sitting out. If you want, you can just, you know, close up one. You can have just one, just 48 pens on display at a time. And you if know, they're since, impressed by that. Since that's really, you know, the most practical way to go about it. But then you can- Everything, like, everything about this is practical. It's cool, and it's oxblood yeah. too. Which just is screams favorite. practicality. Yeah, but you can, you know, it's like a little book. So it's like, let's tell the story it's of how obsessed I am with pens. It's not a story. That is a, that is a tale. <laughs> that is a yarn. <laughs> So anyway, but that one's kind of fun. We could so. talk about any of these for a, a whole video if we wanted to. There's a lot to cover. True, we kind of just did. I mean, no, I mean, any, any one of them, oh, Ryan. Any one, okay, any I one gotcha. of them, yes. <laughs> Let us know if you, is there anything specific that you would like to hear more on? Um, but there's a lot of options. So check out the website. There's a lot of different variations of these mm -hmm. to peruse at your leisure. 
and let us know if you'd like to have us dig in more on anything. There you go. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and right on.